Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Open Heart Customer Sub Account Plugin. And uh, today we'll be showing you how this plugin allows the customers to create uh, multiple sub account users and give them uh, different permissions and accesses to manage and view the information of the main customer account. And the uh, sub account users can perform those tasks on behalf of the uh, main account users and can access the main ac account details depending on the permissions that they have. So basically, uh, now this plugin uh, comes in handy in uh, big organizations. A large number of orders are, for example, being placed on a daily basis. So, uh, so as to fasten the process, the main account user can uh, define the responsibility to their sub account users to manage the order uh, process and to streamline it uh, using this plugin. So that was just an example for that. So let's get uh, to the storefront and uh, let's see how. Uh, uh, the uh, main account holder uh, would be able to manage the sub accounts from his own account panel so for that let's uh, hop on to the storefront uh, now so uh, I'm at the uh, open account uh, platform based web store right now so I'll be logging into the main account user by entering my email and password and tapping on the login button so uh, the main account user can easily manage uh, how would we say as uh, the permissions for the uh, sub account so uh, the uh, main account user can see a complete list of sub accounts and can find uh, the already created ones and can check their status uh, their permissions uh, and under the actions column from here they can log into that particular uh, sub account uh, user as well so the main account user can also access the created uh, can log into the uh, uh, newly created uh, customer uh, uh, sub account and can delete as well and can uh, apart from that can also edit uh, the same so for example to with the particular permissions for a uh, particular sub account that the main account uh, user has created uh, let's tap in the view uh, button and uh, basically that breaks up this uh, pop-up uh, that shows the allowed uh, permissions like the uh, card approval is there can merge your own card to the main card can approve cards can place orders and the rest of the uh, uh, features are uh, provided now uh, to add a new sub account just tap here on the add uh, sub account button and that brings up the add sub account section and here we'll be uh, setting up the personal details for the uh, new sub account that we want to create so we'll set up the uh, first name uh, last name the so uh, the main account user just needs to enter these details like the first name last name email telephone fax uh, details to create a new sub account user so uh, for the time being, we'll just use it as demo 198. Uh, we'll enter one telephone number. Uh, then uh, the uh, main user can add the sub account uh, user's uh, address as well. And can choose the city, postcode, uh, country. And uh, then uh, can choose the uh, origin of the state as required and uh, apart from that uh, the uh, main account user can provide the allowed permissions to this particular sub account user so here we have the allowed permissions and from this particular list you can choose any of the uh, permission that you want to provide to this newly created one uh, newly created sub user so if we choose uh, can uh, place order is uh, gen uh, general uh, let's see what uh, different options are there so uh, can create sub accounts Let's choose this option and uh, can uh, can log into sub accounts so create and login to sub account so uh, here we'll be entering the sub account uh, password so let me enter one and we'll uh, reconfirm that particular password once again so uh, we have set the password for the uh, sub account chosen the in our permissions that's the create sub account and can log into the sub accounts uh, enter the address details and the sub account users details as well now uh, lastly we'll just uh, scroll up and uh, all right we are done with these details let's tap here on the continue button all right we can see that uh, we have created uh, and successfully modified a new sub account uh, the main account user so now we can see that we have a uh, beach rice santos as well the one that we just created and that's a sub user 
at the uh, parent account name is the main customer account uh, basically so right now we can see that the uh, status is disabled uh, let's see the permissions for him so I'll just tap here on the wheel so here you can see that the allowed permissions are can create a sub account and can log into the sub account and uh, apart from that we have chosen uh, can login uh, let me tap on the wheel can create sub accounts can log into sub accounts so uh, if uh, all right for that we'll have to log into his uh, account first to check the uh, particular uh, actions options there so for that I'll just tap on the login and default so let's log in now uh, using the uh, newly created uh, sub account and uh, let me add uh, the password for the account and let's tap on the login button all right some issues there for the email let me uh, recheck that all right so the issue there was that uh, the status was uh, disabled so uh, we created the sub user now the admin needs to approve him let me show you that so after login the admin has this uh, web cool customer sub account section wherein he has the config settings uh, management of the sub accounts and the mail templates for the same so uh, here we have the btrice uh, santos so uh, we'll just uh, approve him by tapping here on the approve button all right we have modified so uh, let me refresh this main uh, user account and let's see all right it's showing now enable now let's uh, log in so we have directly logged into this uh, newly created user and from the drop down if i go to my account i'll open that up in another window and uh, as we know that we had only provided two uh, features to this particular sub user so uh, the sub user could find the sub account uh, menu option on the right hand account uh, panel for the uh, user and tap on the sub account and under that he has the sub account list and the cart approval sorry under that he has the uh, sub account list only after tapping on the sub account depending upon the uh, uh, allowed ones allowed uh, features so let's tap on the sub account list so we were able to create uh, we had set the option to allow him to create sub users and to log into their accounts only the only two options were there for him so uh, to add a new just tap here on the add sub account also we have the uh, filter option there to add a sub account it's just similar to the uh, main account user as you can see here we have the uh, personal details uh, the address sub for the sub account the allowed permissions that you want to provide to him and the uh, password for the uh, sub account user so let's go back all right let, let's create a test one and uh, let's see how we can log into his account uh, using the uh, sub account itself so uh, let's create a new sub account uh, and set it as btrice5 and santros8 uh, email we'll just use it as test1789 i'll set the telephone number and uh, we'll just choose the address the city and the rest of the things we'll just keep it as same and we'll set it as can approve uh, can approve cards and we'll set the password so we are creating this uh, sub user using the sub account itself uh, if you remember that we had created this new sub account user so let me create a password for uh, the uh, sub account user that the uh, sub account user itself is creating so let's tap on the continue button and let's see if uh, b 5 is created by this particular uh, sub account user itself who has the permission to do so so yes we have created it so it's b 5 and we are under the uh, sub account itself so if i tap here on the sub account you can see that we only have the sub account list and now if we tap here on the view permissions for him we can see that uh, we have uh, created a new sub account user who can only approve the cards and uh, as uh, this particular sub account user itself has the option to create and to log into the newly created sub account list so you can see that uh, the wave uh, permission shows only can approve cards and uh, under the actions we only have the option to log in not to delete or to edit the same so let me tap on the login but we need uh, to enable it from the back end so let me go to the back end and let's refresh 
the admin panel we have beaterize 5 let's approve it let's go back let's refresh the page for the uh, sub account user itself the first sub account user and let's tap on the uh, login and this is the second so uh, this uh, new account let's uh, go to uh, the sub account here so here you can see that we have the approve cart option uh, for this uh, particular uh, uh, second sub user that we have created and now uh, as per the allowed permissions as you can see here uh, for example we have the cart approval required so uh, if that permission is provided uh, that's the cart approval so then uh, by navigating to the cart approval tab under the sub account menu uh, the main account user can view the list of the products in the cart that require the approval and uh, that the main user can view the products in the uh, in the cart along with the uh, sub account name as well or, uh, and the rest of the details as well and same uh, if we go to the wish list uh, then the main account users can view the products in the wish list of the uh, sub account users also and uh, the main account user can also add those products to the cart or can remove those products from the cart as well as you can see here and similarly for the order history uh, um, uh, from the order history tab under the sub account the main account users can view the complete list or the history of the orders uh, made by the uh, created sub account users and clicking the uh, view button would basically bring, uh, bring up the details of the Order and from here the uh, main account user can make a reorder of the uh, orders or can return it as well and uh, we already seen the login using the uh, sub account itself uh, from the uh, front end now in the case of cart approval whenever sub account user will add the products to the cart the cart approval permission is enabled uh, for the sub account first and it will be displayed as you can see here and from here you need to uh, tap on the uh, cart uh, or button option that you can see the request card approval button and uh, from the uh, sub account dashboard the sub account users can also view the complete list of the products that need to be approved uh, moreover the uh, current sub user account user can also merge own card to the main card as well and we also have uh, the option for the wish list uh, that will allow the sub uh, account users to add their favorite products to their wish list and process it further and the sub account users can view their wishlist products along with the main account's uh, wishlist products as well so here we have two different sections with the same and uh, the same goes for the order list and uh, the rest of the permission so that was much about the uh, open card customer sub account plugin i hope it helped you out in understanding the flow if you have any questions queries suggestions or requirement then kindly reach out to us at support at the or email read uh, raise it to get at webcool.uvs.com. Thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.